I'm wearing no socks with my boots. It's comfy. <laughs> it is. Well, I'm sure people really didn't want to hear that. <laughs> We are out here on this incredibly cold, windy day doing our usual chores. Have my little helper with me. So, anyway, I just thought I'd capture this incredibly rare happening. My little helper is actually wearing jeans today. And I just wanted to capture this on camera because this happens maybe two or three times a year if we're lucky so she does not like wearing jeans she only likes wearing dresses or stretchy pants so I just wanted to show that we actually she actually has a pair of jeans two pairs you have two pairs of jeans but one small I can't wear it. yeah and the reason that she has these jeans is because she had to get them to show her goat, Sweet Pea, last year at the fair. And that's been the only time she wore them is just because she had to during that time. I'm making a goat's feet. What all do we put in the goat's feet? Me. I didn't get it. Might need to take that bag out and just dump it a little bit in there. Can you say, can you just tell us what all we put in our goat feed? Um, like what do you have now? Alfalfa pellets. Alfalfa pellets, right. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks too big. You just about got it. Just a little bit more. There you got it. There you go. That's a good one. Good job. Yeah, that's about right. Oh. So and then you mix it all up really good. We usually feed that goats that mixture um, through the winter. And then, then in the summertime, we usually just let them mostly graze. Once the pastures green up and everything in the spring and into the summer, they usually just graze. And we don't feed them very much um, grain or anything like that. So. Uh-oh, we got locked in back here. Maybe Miley can figure out how to get us out. Oh, yay! <laughs> you did it! This stick. You saved our lives! <laughs> this stick can fit through. Alright. <laughs> Gotta run around and get something to cut that string on the bale. I had to use the handy dandy hoof trimmers just to cut the twine on this hay bale. I need to learn to start carrying a knife with me when I'm doing chores. We're pretty excited this year because we are actually feeding our own homegrown hay. Year before last we um, planted a small alfalfa patch and last year we got two cuttings off of it and so we have our own bales. When we planted our alfalfa, we didn't have a, an implement or anything to plant it with, so um, we worked the field and then we took a broadcast spreader and we broadcasted the seeds over the dirt and then we took a drag harrow and um, worked it in that way. There was, um, and then we got like a huge rain and a lot of the seed got washed in together, so in our alfalfa patch we have a lot of areas where we have alfalfa really thick and then other areas where we don't and we have a lot of grass and weeds and 
this last year our first cutting was really weedy and our second had a lot more alfalfa in it but it was still pretty weedy too but we've been feeding it to the goats and um, we're pretty excited to be able to have grown at least some of our own hay I don't 100% rely on it you know we do still try to find some good quality grass hay and feed it to them right now we are out but you know we're gonna look into getting some more here in a little while but it helps out a lot that we've been able to supplement with our own hay and everything the first two or three years that we had goats um, we would buy small square bales from people around here and feed it to them and one winter we had a fairly large herd we had about twice as many as we do now and we were having to buy those small square bales about we'd buy 10 of them at a time and I think that we paid about like six dollars a piece so it was like sixty dollars and most of the time that wouldn't even last a whole month and then um, last year we asked our neighbor about buying a big round bale and I had assumed since the the small square bales were that much that a big round bale would be probably like a hundred dollars or something but he said that he would charge fifty dollars for one so we decided to get one and it took a month or two before we got it and then by the time we did get it he actually sold it to us for I think it was forty or something like that you know and he said that the price of that hay had gone down, but I really do think he was just probably being nice and um, selling it to us on a little bit cheaper. But anyway, that big round bale, we put it right here in this area, and we just got through feeding it the last of it last month. So it lasted us a whole entire year. We don't feed it through the summer, but just in the mostly the winters when we feed it to them but anyway I thought that was pretty good so we are going going to look into getting another big round bale because that's definitely the more economical way to feed the goats and so, they loved it too yeah they did love it so how will we get it in here though again how will we how will we get it in here well we have to open up those doors right there and then we have to take this goat fence out which is just put in here with a couple of um, fence posts. We just take a fence post out and slide these out and then we put it in right here and then we just unwind it as we go. We take a pitchfork and just unwind it and it works really well. And then also last summer we had a lot of rain so our pasture was growing really thick and good so we also had our pasture baled once and so this hay right here is from our alfalfa patch that we've been feeding and then over here this is from our pasture so um, we did get a lot of good hay off of them it's not quite the good quality that we would buy from somebody but you know it works and also last year and the year before last we've been uh, planting brome grass out in our pastures hoping to get that growing really well and if we can get that growing really well then we will start trying to swath our pastures when we have um, good years where we have a lot of rain and it's nice and green and hopefully maybe eventually we will become self-sufficient in growing our own hay and that will be really a good deal if we can do that and that's one of our goals we're working towards okay we got chores done for today so we are going to hurry up and go in the house and get warmed up it is freezing out here and my pants bothers me <laughs> and your pants bothers you so you're going to be taking them off as soon as we get in the house right putting on some stretchy pants <laughs> yes <laughs> well i'm in, i'm pretty impressed that you wore your jeans the whole entire time we did chores that is amazing i'm socks with my boots. It's comfy. <laughs> it is. Well, I'm sure people really didn't want to hear that. Like this movie, see if I can subscribe to you a lot, Jay.